If you are anything like us, you probably lay awake at night, wishing you knew more about how various animals gave birth. Come on then. There you are. There you are. Well, if this isn't the perfect video for you, this is how these 15 animals lay eggs. Number 15. Centipede Nobody wants to find centipedes in their house, right? They have too many legs and they're just icky. Unfortunately, all of us will inevitably find one or more of these little guys in our houses. Thankfully, we won't see them giving birth, unless you're watching this video, in which case, enjoy. Before we get to the gross egg-laying stuff, we have to begin with a basic reproductive science lesson. Contrary to what you may expect, most species of centipede mate without even touching. The males spin small webs, into which they will deposit their specimen, shall we say. And then the females find the webs and fertilize them. That's generally how it works, but it can prove incredibly challenging to find centipede eggs because they're usually deposited in soil. And just to be extra safe, females often coil themselves around the eggs to protect them from harm. When the eggs hatch, the miniature centipedes enter the world with only a fraction of their sets of legs. As they continue to molt, those legs will come into play, resulting in the many-legged insect we all know and tolerate. So the baby centipede missing its legs bursts out into a wall of dirt. Nice. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for a juicy topic. The Suriname toad is a rather curious amphibian. Living in South America, these odd-looking critters have a triangular head, flat body, and incredibly small eyes. But the reason why the Suriname toad is in this video is that it has the weirdest method of reproduction of almost any animal known to man, including the egg-laying process. It all begins when the female and male engage in an elaborate swim together, sort of like a mating ritual. During the uh, dance, the female releases her eggs, which the male then fertilizes. The male toad then carefully places the eggs onto the female's back. They sink through her skin, becoming embedded within the skin. An odd structure develops. It almost looks like a honeycomb with a chamber for each egg. The eggs hatch inside these chambers as the young toads grow. You can even see strange rippling on the toad's back as the babies grow. Eventually, when they are ready, the young toads burst out of their mother's back, arriving into the world. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Spotted Salamander it's easy to forget that reptiles lay eggs, but you better believe it because, well, you're about to see it for yourself in all its beautiful, slimy glory. And you know what? You're very welcome. We're here to give the people what they did not ask for. More questionable birthing videos. Fertilize their eggs using that spermatophore that the males have dropped. When it comes to the spotted salamander, it may be easier to think about laying eggs as a communal act, much like how a human delivery room is flooded with non-medical experts just because they can. Many of the salamander's friends and family want to see the freaky milky white egg when it's finally born. Although they can't really see the eggs, as the female typically lays around 100 eggs underwater, leaving them for a month or two until they hatch. Now, isn't that adorable? Well, no. But it's fascinating, and that's close enough. The spotted salamander's method of birth is not entirely unlike a human water bath birth. But while the human likes to stick around and mother her newborn child, the salamanders just do something else for a couple months. Who has time to wait for a child anyway? People have jobs. Number 13. Crocodile 
While it might seem somewhat incompatible with the hyper-aggressive behavior crocodiles are known for, they do indeed lay eggs. Of course, when a croc gives birth, the egg is protected a very, very well. But when it comes to other animals' eggs, just smash it and go. That's the crocodile way. Crocodile eggs are usually laid in holes or mound nests, depending on the species, and they tend to nest anywhere between a few months to half a year. Hi, little guy. There he is. <sighs> when night falls, the mother crocodile will begin digging what are known as trail nests, incomplete practice versions to master the art of nest building. Eventually, when the baby arrives, the mother rests these eggs anywhere between 7 and 95 and begins the long period of nursing her children. It will surprise absolutely nobody to know that mother crocodiles are extremely protective of their youngsters, and that can be frightening to see. Crocodiles take around 80 days on average to incubate, though certain conditions are required to ensure everything goes according to plan. Still, none of it really matters, as when the baby crocs eventually hatch, many of them will be killed by other predators. I guess eating a crocodile is a badge of honor for some animals. Number 12. Monarch Butterfly did you know that butterflies and moths are terrible, terrible parents? Okay, so that's not totally true, but it is kind of true. When their young are hatched, butterflies and moths pretty much abandon them and do their own thing. But at least they go through the effort of having the kids, right? The monarch butterfly has a unique way of laying its eggs, doing so on a host plant known as the milkweed. The female secretes a little bit of a glue to the bottom of a leaf near the top of the plant and then lays a single egg. Over two to five weeks, the female will lay somewhere between 300 and 500 eggs in this manner, all of them no bigger than a pencil tip. Within four days, the eggs will hatch, and a new monarch butterfly will begin its journey to adulthood. I imagine most of us never really stopped to think about the reproductive nature of butterflies. After all, for most of us, these magnificent little things just kind of appear and then vanish again. But indeed, they're both egg layers and horrible, horrible parents. Well, maybe not the second point, but the first is accurate. Number 11. Sea Turtle there's no real logic when it comes to sea turtles. These animals always nest on beaches. But there's a twist. They only nest on some beaches. And nobody really knows why. Identical-looking beaches in Florida have found an inexplicable difference in the amount of sea turtles nesting. Maybe they get better reception at one than the other. When the sea turtle has decided on her chosen nesting beach, she begins the difficult birth process. After digging the egg chamber, the turtle begins to lay her eggs, around two or three at a time. By the time that she's done, there will be anywhere between 80 and 120 eggs in the chamber. And, thanks to the nature of the eggs, they can't break. Some actually believe that the process of laying the eggs can send the turtle into a kind of trance. But this could also just be boredom. <laughs> the mother turtle will only abandon her nesting if she feels in danger or harassed. Otherwise, she will commit to protecting her baby eggs at all costs. But if she does abandon the nest, that's bad news. Once a female leaves the nest, she never returns. Sounds like humans. Number 10. Lovebird You're probably expecting me to make some kind of inappropriate joke here about how lovebirds are consistently pregnant. Well, you'd be wrong. I can show some self-restraint. What do you think I am, some kind of lovebird? Yeah, no, I really can't show any self-restraint. Female lovebirds generally tend to lay between three and seven eggs, with every clutch often laying an egg every other day. When they've all been laid, the hen will incubate her eggs for around 23 days. By the end of the process, you have a whole new bunch of lovebirds. Just waiting to... No, no, I will... I will show self-restraint. 
If the bird feels threatened at all, they're known to destroy their nest and eggs, effectively making the whole process completely null and void. Likewise, if they have their babies and feel stress or confusion, these hens are known to kill their own children just for some peace. Seems a bit excessive. Lovebirds may be beautiful animals, but they're also very active. And when you're active, one thing leads to another. Look, they have a good time. Let's not judge them for that. Just, you know, try not to kill so many kids. Number 9. Bullfrog it's a lot of bull, but we have to talk about it. You, um, you see what I did there? Okay, message received, I'll move on. Bullfrog eggs are obviously much smaller than many other animal eggs, but are known to create larger tadpoles than other species of frog. That's a lot of bullfrog spawn, though. Or BS for short. Okay, I'm done now. Like many amphibian animals, the bullfrog gives birth in shallow water, often laying up to 20,000 eggs at a time. That probably sounds like more work than it is. But what would I know? I'm just a human. The bullfrog eggs are laid on the water's surface, where they can be exposed to potentially dangerous UVB radiation, which can cause abnormalities. Four days later, the eggs hatch, releasing the tadpoles into the water. Within a year, these tiny little things will grow to be big adult bullfrogs. When a bullfrog lays her eggs, you better believe there's a lot of bull floating around. Thankfully, that's how it should be. 20,000 is apparently very normal for the bullfrog community, which really puts us humans to shame. Number 8. Corn Snake Conceiving a child requires a lot of work. Unless, of course, you happen to be a female specimen of a species that doesn't require men at all to get pregnant. In fact, many women would probably consider this the ideal result of any pregnancy. Although it's very rare, female corn snakes are one of these species, though such an ability comes with a condition. The eggs will not be fertile unless the female has mated with a male. Bad luck. These unfertilized eggs, known as slugs, won't hatch. Sadly, even when the female has mated with a male, a clutch of eggs may still contain some slugs. Still, female corn snakes generally have one or two clutches in a year, with around 12 eggs in each. Though experts have noted that females in their prime can have up to 34 eggs or more in a single clutch. While some women likely dream of being able to get pregnant without the assistance and, to quote some, burden of man, the corn snake's experience shows how complicated and troublesome such a gift can be. Also, who wants to lay 35 eggs with nobody to blame? That sounds rough. Number 7. Emperor Penguin I haven't seen March of the Penguins, but I assume that Morgan Freeman didn't delve into the intricacies of how the magnificent Emperor Penguin lays the eggs. After all, why would he? He's God, he knows what's going on. The Emperor Penguin is a fascinating subject to look at in terms of laying eggs, as the species has many unusual behavioral traditions that go along with the process. While all other species of penguin lay two eggs, the Emperor Penguin lays one. This egg will then be placed on the male's feet to keep warm while the mother goes out and hunts for several weeks, presumably for a break. Eventually, the penguin chicks will hatch by using their beaks to break through the shell. From then on, the baby penguin is nurtured and raised by loving parents, and the documentary goes on from there, probably. I have absolutely no idea. There have been many documentaries highlighting the difficult trend of emperor penguins stealing other penguins' chicks. When this happens, there's really not much that can be done. It's a brutal thing, but I guess all's fair in love and… ice? Number 6. Chameleon when a chameleon lays its eggs, the eggs actually start changing color to blend in with its nest. It's like a kind of mood ring, but with an egg. No, that's not true. But it is an excellent idea for a toy. I hold the copyright on that, so don't even try it. Like many other species, the chameleon prepares for the egg's impending arrival by digging a hole, usually somewhere between 4 and 12 inches deep. Then, the chameleon simply deposits anywhere from 2 to 200 eggs, depending on the species, into the hole.
4 to 12 months later, you've got a brand new baby chameleon ready and waiting. Some rarer species, however, take more time. Like, for instance, the Parsons chameleon, which can take over 12 months to hatch. That's a two-year waiting period for one chameleon. I'm not sure I've ever been that committed for anything. Every chameleon egg-laying procedure is wildly different. Some may only lay a couple of eggs, while others may lay a huge, almost unfathomable amount. It's hard to imagine a single chameleon laying up to 200 eggs, probably because I don't want to imagine it. Number 5. Arowana Fish you know, when you really start looking around at the ways that animals lay their eggs, you really start to realize just how uninvolved men are in the process of human birth. I mean, the arowana, for instance, they can't just do their part and then go for a beer. I mean, they could, but it'd be risky. The process for an arowana's egg laying is very unusual for us humans. Here's a basic outline of how it works. A male and a female will pair off and build a nest. There, the female will deposit her eggs into the nest, just as we've seen other animals doing. But here's where it gets, um... Creative. The male will then take those fairly large eggs into his mouth and carry them around for about 50 days. Eventually, they'll hatch in his mouth and swim free. I told you, human men have it easy by comparison. Imagine having a human life growing in your mouth. No beer for you. While there may well be other species that do a similar thing, this is a very unique phenomenon in the natural world. To carry your growing children around in your mouth, how do you eat? Number 4. Cockroach I know nobody really likes them, but they're animals and egg layers. We are obligated to acknowledge them. Full warning though, you may get pretty itchy during this next section. Then you have a great chance. Interesting. Let's go then. Cockroaches are still gross as hell, regardless of whether they're parents or not. The egg-laying process for cockroaches is probably among the simplest of any in the animal kingdom. The eggs are contained in dark-colored cases, similar to the size and shape of a dry kidney bean, with each case containing somewhere between 16 and 50 eggs in total. These eggs will later hatch into nymphs, basically young cockroaches, and a lot of them. It's gross, but that's just the nature of life on Earth. Pretty much everything is gross if you really stop to think about it, except for cake, which is still just one of the greatest gifts ever given to us. Cockroaches may be generally loathed insects, but they serve an important function in the natural world, just as any insect does. But again, I apologize for showing you a cockroach laying eggs. That is gross. I get that. Just wipe your mind of it, pretend they don't exist, they can't get you that way. Number 3. Black Widow For those of us that suffer from arachnophobia, the very idea of any kind of spider breeding and having children is frankly a nightmare. But it's a nightmare we have to accept. However, Black Widows? Nope, not going to accept that one. The Black Widow is a highly poisonous spider, but they're also incredibly ruthless animals in their own unique way. And by that, I mean how the female eats the male immediately after mating. For most men, that's the one night stand from hell. Once the male is dead, the female lays her eggs into some silken cocoons, producing somewhere between four and nine cocoons in total, each containing between 20 and 900 eggs. Again, I apologize deeply to those of you with arachnophobia, but dear God, why are you still here? It's not going to get any better. We all know the Black Widow is a highly dangerous and deadly animal, but this egg-laying protocol is crazy. You kill your baby daddy and then just create cocoons of his children? Actually, I think I saw that once on Mori. Number 2. Emu Emus are pretty big animals, so you'd be forgiven for assuming they will have big eggs. Actually, they're probably smaller than you'd expect, typically the size of your average avocado. Although if you tried to eat it, the emu would probably rip you to pieces. Before laying their eggs, the emu has a specific ritual it must accomplish. And yes, this is one of the rare instances in the animal kingdom where the male animal actually has to help out. While the female is busy, you know, being pregnant, the male must construct a nest of twigs, leaves, and grass on the ground. Then the female will lay between 5 and 15 eggs in the nest before leaving. Where she goes and what she does 
does is her business. Don't be nosy. The male will then sit on the nest until the eggs eventually hatch. Now, that's couple's goals. The emu system is much like emperor penguins, one of the rare instances where both the male and female have a significant part to play. Both are crucial in the development of the child. And also, it gives mama a chance to go hit the bar. Yes, I believe there's a lively cocktail scene in the wild. What of it? Number 1. American Robin Who'd have thought that the American Robin would be one of the most aggressive protectors of the Rex? Not me. Apparently, though, these little guys really are one of the most intensely protective animals in the world, and will go to great lengths to keep potential predators at bay. The female American Robin will lay two to four light blue eggs no bigger than a quarter. Over the next two weeks, the mother will then incubate those eggs until the chicks hatch, with both parents taking care of the young. But back to my claim that these things are relentlessly aggressive, Male robins have become notorious for their dive-bombing approach to humans and predators that happen to get within 10 feet of the nest. Many unsuspecting victims have reported a robin swooping close to their head, calling loudly as they go. Okay, so they're not exactly lions or tigers, but what did you expect? They're tiny birds! The American robin lays some of the smallest eggs in the animal kingdom, but they're fiercely protective of them. Unlike most animals, which tend to lay the eggs and the then wander off for an adventure. The robins stick by their children until they're fully grown. That's the mark of a good parent. That and nepotism. Have you ever seen any of these animals lay their eggs? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.